Look at them, zipping through the trees. Hummingbirds comprise the smallest existing species of birds. The tiniest of them average 5 centimeters in diameter. The average hummingbird can fly at speeds upwards of 54 kilometers an hour. Though they most notably subsist of nectar from flowers, many varieties of these creatures are omnivorous and are known to regularly eat small bugs. Hummingbirds are the only species of birds that are known to fly backwards. So why am I telling you this? After all, this is stuff we play, not Animal Planet! That's because of this. Calibri for the Sega 32X, a video game where, fittingly enough, you play as a hummingbird. A game where you play as a hummingbird? This sounds almost as insane as a game where you drive through the desert in real time! Who remembers the Sega 32X? This ill-fated add-on for the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive if you aren't an American. It was released in 1994 in North America and discontinued not even one year later. It's joked by many in the retro gaming community to look like a mushroom cloud spewing from the top of your console. This makes sense seeing how it badly bombed. <laughs> This is Calibri, released for the obscure Sega platform in question in 1995. This game is the brainchild of Ed Anunziata, who some of you may know as the man behind Echo the Dolphin. Mr. Anunziata is clearly no stranger to odd video games involving realistic looking animal characters. When the world is put in danger by some sort of strange alien threat, who better to step up to save the day than a hummingbird named, fittingly enough, Calibri. Fun fact by the way, the name Calibri is actually the word for hummingbird in a variety of Eastern European languages. Calibri aims for a more realistic visual look than most other games of the time, and it works surprisingly well here even by the standards of modern games. Everything is detailed, fluid, and colorful, but not overly grainy or jagged. Calibri is very clearly more detailed than a regular non-32x enhanced Genesis game, and by not attempting 3D polygons, it has aged remarkably well, graphically speaking anyways. Also of note in the soundtrack, it's not too terribly memorable as it's very ethereal and primal in its sound, but it's fitting with the subject matter and it helps set the mood. What may turn some people off however, is its controls. Calibri is an omnidirectional shooter in which you fly around each stage and attempt to shoot at enemies and make your way through puzzles. The A button on the Genesis controller is your action button. You can use this for opening doors, drinking nectar from flowers, and picking up keys. The B button fires your weapon, of which there are many. Yeah, because like the real hummingbird, you can fire homing missiles at giant wasps for defense. What may be off-putting about the controls here is that if you hold the B button, your weapon will auto-fire, but your direction will also be locked. While this yes allows the game to play off of real hummingbird biology by allowing the player to fly backwards, it's admittedly a bit awkward to get used to. The only other thing to keep in mind with the controls is the C button. Pressing this will give you a short yet exhilarating burst of speed, playing off the intense speed bursts that can be taken by real hummingbirds. While this can be doubly awkward, initially when combined with the locking feature of the B button here, once you get used to it, you can partake in some truly fast paced frantic gameplay. However, especially since some of these levels can be rather open, I can understand if this still doesn't seem like your cup of tea. While fans of shmups or odd video games from the 90s may definitely get a kick out of this title, many others may get bored. The peacefulness of the game may cause the player to start to feel a bit... Well, you get the point. More excitement may be had by watching real hummingbirds. Watch as they zip between trees. See their beautiful colors as the sun hits them. These particular hummingbirds are the doctor bird, the national bird of Jamaica. You can distinguish them from the regular hummingbird by their long streamer-like tails, which makes their true name, the red-billed streamer tail. Makes perfect sense. Even with the long tails, these birds are only average about 11 centimeters from tip to tip. Fascinating. Actually, you know what, James? This may actually be better than playing Calibri. <laughs> Definitely a fascinating game, but as that costs over $70 American just for the cartridge and has never been officially ported to any console, the average gamer may be better off going outside and observing real hummingbirds in all their natural glory for free. So are you suggesting that gamers should instead go outside and enjoy nature rather than just play a game about it? Kind of. Like this game is an interesting piece of history and all, but I'm not sure if it's for everyone. And also, it's making me feel outdoorsy. So to recap, Calibri for the Sega 32X is a strange video game by the guy who made Echo the Dolphin, where you play as a hummingbird and shoot at giant bugs and other such things. Interesting concept, beautiful presentation, questionable execution. This all culminates in a fascinating game that is perhaps not as fascinating as real hummingbirds.
So with that, I think it's time to wrap this up. Thanks for everyone watching. I know this is quite a bit different than the content either of us usually put out, but we hope you enjoyed this nonetheless. Um, feel free to subscribe to my channel where I usually do a whole bunch of different content from games, movies, talking about weird things I see on the internet, weird goings-ons. Feel free to subscribe and check it out. And of course, remember to subscribe to stuff we play and all that as well. So with that, thank you very much for watching. And let's be glad that James didn't die like the last time we collaborated. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I like that. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> All right, James, don't use none of that audio. Cut it away after I start laughing like a crazy person.